Hi guys, Swans with you here, back again for another video, and today Swans City have made another signing of the summer transfer windows, our fourth summer signing, and welcome back, Mark Eehe. Mark Eehe, because of our fourth signing of the summer, like I was saying, he's also been joined with Freddie Woodman, Corey Smith, and the Wolverhampton Wanderers midfielder, Gibbs White. Very happy with this signing, guys, of Mark Eehe. Um, you think he's made 14 appearances in all competitions for us so far, um, you know, spent, joined in January last season, and... You know, his first couple of games he was playing, he looked a bit shaky, he didn't look comfortable on the ball, and then we went into lockdown. I think he came against Millwall, away from him after Ben Wilmot got injured, and he played very well in that game and the rest of the season. He had a few man of matches awards, I think he had man of matches against Sheffield Wednesday, he was absolutely phenomenal. When we went to the five of the back system, he really flourished in that role. You know, he was so comfortable playing the ball out from the back, especially in that role. Um... He looked dangerous going forward as well as a few runs going forward. He's quite a big lad as well, so he's within a few headers and lucky not to score, I think, against Sheffield Wednesday as well. Very, very good player, and I'm really impressed that we've got him back. Gives really good depth now, so we've got three centre-halves who have played at least one senior game for us. We've obviously got Brandon Cooper and Carl Norton who are occupied as a fourth choice, so got some really good depth now, and, and you know the season's looking really strong. Again, our business done early, which is always good to see. Season starts in less than two weeks, so fingers crossed because we make a few more signings. But this was much needed signing, and you know it's a loan, but we already know similar to Freddie Woodman, it's not going to take him long to settle in because he's already been here before. Yeah, like I was saying, he spent the last six months for us, and he's made 14 appearances, played well. He scored the under 17s World Cup final for Steve Cooper, where they beat Spain. Obviously, managed by Steve Cooper, obviously that England in the 17s team had likes of Ryan Brewster, Conor Gallagher, Freddie Woodman as well. So you could kind of see the similarity trait. We're trying to get in a lot of uh, you know Cooper's links, and you know there's people saying, "Oh, kids football, kids football." Uh, we're bringing kids all the time, but at the end of the day. These players are going to have a big career in the future. It's not been, maybe there's been one loan which didn't work out, which is Kalulu, but I think all the other loans have really turned out to be a very good addition. And fingers crossed, Gihi can uh, be another good addition. Like I was saying, a full season for Mark Gihi provides very good depth and good opportunities for Mark himself to get more game time. Obviously, with Chelsea set to sign Thiago Silva and Marlon Sarr, two more centre halves, his game time will be very limited at Chelsea. They've got a late 19 or early 20. Um, but he's not going to get in at Chelsea first team. He's made a few appearances for them. I think he came up against Manchester United in the Carabao Cup, which was a very good experience for him. But let's let's see what happens. Will we play the five of the back system? Will we play four of the back? Well, I will know key. He will. Might not be a star with Cabango and Rodon, or if we go five of the back, then he can occupy in that position. But um, even if he's a bench player, it'd be really good. If we do get an injury, like Rodon does get injured uh, now and again, I'd be more than happy to let Mark Eehe play because the way he performed last season I'd have no worries that uh, he would not perform in that role. He's also made the England under 21 squad which probably means he's unavailable for the Newport game. There's a lot of absentees for that Newport game. A lot of players are on international duty and only um, Cullen, Brandon Cooper uh, with Wales under 21s. I know Cavango and Roberts with the Wales team. So there's going to be a lot of first team players out for that game. So it's going to be a very interesting game. An update on the live stream situation. EFL confirmed earlier on today. Uh, the live stream home games will all be linked. So I will be doing a live stream watch for all the home games. The away games, the only away games which uh, the club are allowed to broadcast are the midweek away games. So I might not be able to do watch longs of Preston away, Wickham away because they're weekend away days and the FL have said no club is allowed to stream the midweek, sorry, the weekend away games unless you pay the £10 um, fee for the game. And I, to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you, I, I'm not going to pay £10 for the game. I think it's I think it's a bit of a rip-off, to be fair. You know, I follow and stuff like that. It's a bit dodgy at times. And, you know, I'd rather watch, just watch the highlights or something to save my money. So, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to do some watch-alongs, uh, which will be a shame. But I will be doing the home watch-alongs um, and potentially the midweek away games. Looks like I'll be missing the Newport game as well. For Again, when they're not streaming it for free for the senior ticket holders, which is ludicrous, considering you paid all that money. But it's not the club's decision, it's the EFL. So, it's unfortunate, but... There's going to be a lot of what games I can't be streaming because I'm not going to pay £10 unless I can find a dodgy stream then everyone's just going to ruin it in the uh, live stream comments. So I'll try my best to get the situation sorted guys but it's not looking promising at the moment.
So let me know down below, are you happy with Mark Gehe signing? Um, do you think he'll start? Do you think he'll be on the bench? I think he'll be on the bench, I think it'll be Cabango and Rodan starting and maybe Gehe coming on now and again. If there's an injury or if they're playing five at the back, then he definitely will be a starter. I'm really happy with it, you know, three proper good centre halves now with Cooper and Norton who can occupy the fourth choice. Thanks everyone for the support we've seen the videos, they've been really good. I know it was a double upload yesterday, so the videos are going a bit slow, but if you haven't um, checked them out, please go and check them out. On the road to free fans subscribers, so if you are new to my channel, Please subscribe, like, and comment, all the good stuff. So, guys, Swans fans especially, let me know down below what you think of the signing. I, I, I'm really impressed by it. Um, Cooper again working his magic. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Please hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Slow down, slow down.